And we're hearing tonight from passengers at Sky Harbor who are now on the only flight flying direct to Europe. We also caught passengers just touching down. Let's go to John Erickson live on this one tonight. And John, one passenger calls the attacks terrifying, but says he's still flying. Katie, their all-night overnight flight took off from Sky Harbor here about a half an hour ago. The passengers we're hearing from are being extra vigilant, but they're not overly afraid. We do want to be clear, we're not hearing about any sort of threat to an airliner, but we are here at Sky Harbor tonight because some passengers bound for Europe are a little bit more on edge. The process is mostly the same. Show ID, get a ticket, check a bag. But the difference for tonight's passengers flying direct from Phoenix to London is knowing there was a terrorist attack just hours ago in France. It was uh, shocking and uh, really terrifying. Uday Kanekadandi was getting ready to board the only flight that flies direct from Phoenix to Europe. It's a late night British Airways flight on the Big Bird, a 747. All the passengers we talked with had heard of the Paris attacks. It's very close to home. Yes, so it makes you very aware. The world's a dangerous place and you got to be careful, but you can't let it stop you from doing what you need to do. Susie Bajanovich arrived at Sky Harbor from London. She was in the air when news of the attacks spread, and she's glad no one on the plane learned about it. I've been flying 10 hours straight. That's stressful. And then if you hear something like that, you're afraid to land. The people would have panicked. The passengers told us that airline staff didn't say anything about any sort of extra security on their flight. So a pretty normal flight, except for the fact that they know that they're flying into a very rattled Europe now. Katie.